Uh, right, okay. Um, I'm making another pencil bowl here. Uh, with this type of pencil bowl, um, I've bought the um, the pencils um, that are hexagonal. Um, and uh, instead of the round ones. So I've got the round ones here, as you can see. And then these ones um, are uh, hexagonal. So uh, what I'm doing now is I'm basically really carefully gluing these together. Um, now there's several ways to do pencil bowls as we've seen. Um, but um, this way, um, I'm doing it because I, I want the bowl to come out a certain way. So this is really, you've got to be very careful when doing this. Um, just got to try and line all the um, uh, the pencils up. And this is the first layer, so it's, this is the most important one really. Just to try and get them all to sit quite nicely, because once you've done the first layer, then you'll find that they'll all quite sit nicely and they'll be easier to glue up afterwards. They sit quite nicely in, in between each other there, like that. So... Um, it's not always perfect, you know, and, and I can't, you know, get it perfect myself, but, you know, it, it, it just got to just take a bit of time with it, um, just basically gluing them all together, just being very careful. I just do two, basically, at a time, so glue up two, and then glue up another two, glue up another two, and then just glue them two together. Um, it just does a bit time-consuming, that's all, just to get the uh, the main base right. Um, so I'm going to build this probably three, maybe four pencils high um, and then uh, glue them to a block of wood uh, on top and bottom. So again, we'll do a little, a small pencil project for you um, just to see how this one, how this one goes together. These are the pencils that I found for this pencil bowl. Uh, I've got these from Hobbycraft. So um, this is the uh, second layer of the uh, pencil bowl that I'm making for a client. Um, and as I said earlier on, you know, it's um, it's really important to try and get the first layer, you know, dead straight, lined up pretty well, because it makes life so much easier when you're doing the rest of it. Um, so now, basically, um, putting the second layer on, I've basically just filled it with um, uh, super glue. And I just literally laid all the pencils on top, and then that's it really. It's uh, it's a very simple process. After that, so the next two, three, four layers will go together really nicely. Um, but again, they won't go together nicely if you um, uh, if you don't put that first layer on. So um, I'll probably put four layers on here of pencils because I think the clients requested that they have a, a few more layers on this one. So I'll do that. Because um, obviously you've got to sand down the bottom as well and sand the top to put the pieces of wood on. Now in this project it is important to get these quite close together um, because it just looks better. Because there's going to be no resin in this. just basically secured it down so you can see how easy that was after you've done the first layer so I've secured it down uh, with these clamps just to clamp it all up just to make sure it's all nice and tight nothing's gonna pop out so uh, I'll leave that for you know five ten minutes this um, is um, done now so I think four layers of pencils is enough on there so I'm gonna stick this in the sander now I'm just gonna uh, smooth off the top um, smooth off the bottom so that we can fix and glue up um, a, a bowl blank of some kind or a piece of wood at the bottom there to make the base uh, of the um, of the bowl and obviously the top as well just so we've got a nice finish on the uh, top of the bowl. You can see here you've got a fairly good contact uh, in most areas. There are a few errors but we can fix those when we get it on the lathe. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue this piece up um, to this uh, block bowl blank that I found. Um, I believe this is a piece of walnut so I do like working with walnut as you've probably noticed. 
So we'll just put a bit of uh, Gorilla Glue on here and we'll just rub this in on this side just making sure we're covering everywhere got that all smeared in on the pencils as well a bit more I'm going to put it down this way because this is going to be the biggest part of the bowl at the top um, even though we're going to lose some of the edge anyway here but I'll stick it down this way I know then that um, I'll try and get it in the center as much as possible um, and now what we need to do is just clamp this down uh, firm so we just use these Stanley clamps here that I've got got these from uh, eBay uh, these ones I have bought quite a few clamps it's always quite important to get as many clamps as you can get your hands on really because uh, you do need quite a lot to clamp uh, up so this is what I mean about um, not having enough making sure you've got enough clamps basically <laughs> um, so we've got eight clamps clamping this down uh, and I've covered every corner and I've done the edges as well it's just important just to get a really nice tight you know connection on everywhere there's no good obviously putting just two clamps or four clamps on here and then you know for some reason it's bowed a little bit and this bit is sticking up so that's going to cause you problems when you're when you're turning it so i've just covered everywhere just so we've got a nice connection all the way around um as you can see you know it's uh it's pretty tight squeeze these as much as you can and then uh just leave that overnight really if you can um, or definitely a good few hours I mean this Gorilla Glue does glue up pretty quickly but I normally tend to leave these things overnight uh, so there we go I found a uh, this is the piece that I chopped off of a, another project I did earlier on um, so I've uh, basically smoothed that off on the sander and I've used that as the top for this um, bowl um, this pencil bowl so as you can see um, we're, by doing the larger base at the bottom we're going to have the pencils now more to the top of the bowl so uh, once this all dries and sets overnight we'll put the face plate onto here uh, we'll put this on the lathe and we'll start turning the bowl um, but that's, um, we have to leave that overnight now So there is a uh, little hole here uh, which I kind of planned to fill that with resin uh, but that kind of didn't really work the way I wanted it to so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a dabble of uh, super glue in here and I'm just going to pack this up with a bit of sawdust and sort of leftover scraps of uh, wood from other projects um, and I think that should fill the gap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some gloves on for this because um, this super glue is lethal stuff. You know, you get it on your fingers. Um, it's, it just takes ages to get off. You know, it's not very. It's not the easiest thing to take off, really. So I just put a dabble of uh, sawdust in there like that. I mean, it's got some colours in it as well because obviously you've got some pencil shavings in there. Um, 
I'm going to do here as well, just to make this a little bit different, is um, <clears throat> I'm going to mark some lines in here, very similar to the ones on the bottom, so just to make it a little bit different. So I'm just going to mark this out with a pencil um, first, and a measuring tape, just so I can get them sort of like fairly, um, fairly equal, really. I mean, I can fairly I do this fairly well by eye, but um, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to mark this one out properly. So something like that. So what I'll do now is I'll mark those lines out. I'm just going to put the pencil up against where the line is, and then just make that mark. There's one there. Two, three, four, five. Uh, I did mark another one. Should I put another one there? No, I think that's enough. Actually, I think five is enough. So. I'm going, to mark, I'm going to shave that out now, I'm going to cut that out of here using uh, this tool. So we've got these little lines in there now. Now what I'm going to do is when I finish that I'm going to burn, the, burn these lines in. So these are going to be black. So just to show you how that's going to look, I've made this little um, this little piece here with uh, two uh, pieces of wood on the end and a, and a bit of wire in between, uh, and that allows me to uh, burn into the wood. So uh, if you have a look at here, we'll do the bottom one. Just lay it down, apply a bit of pressure. You start to see a bit of burning. As soon as you see a bit of smoke coming up. Then basically that's what you want and then what you've got there is you've got a nice black ring around the piece of wood then um, which really you know it really sets it off it's quite a nice um, thing to do sometimes that you know something different so I'll do that all the way through but I won't bother doing all of these just yet that was just to show you because um, I'm going to sand all this down first and get this ready for you know prep it, prep it up a bit ready ready for its final finishes um, I'm just going to sand this back a bit more. So uh, yeah, it looks quite nice. There we go. So that's kind of uh, blended in now to the wood. Kind of just looks look um, looks like it's just part of the of the wood now. Really, it's a bit darker, but you know that's fine. You know, it matches in fairly well. At least it's not a big hole there anyway. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that how that's come out. Um, so I'm going to apply a bit of uh, sand and sealer on this now. Um, what have we got? So I'm going to put some of this on here, this will be the first coat of the sand in sealer and then we'll get this sort of finished off on the, uh, on the outside and then we'll flip it round so we can finish, finish the inside off. This is actually uh, going to come up really nice I think this wood. Okay, now on this piece, basically I've sanded this down now. It's had a couple of coats of sand and cedar on it. Um, it's looking fairly good. Um, what I'm going to go for this time is I'm going to go for this uh, Hampshire Sheen. Now, this is a local guy uh, from me, uh, Martin Saban Smith, that makes this stuff. So, um, and I've heard some really good stuff about it. Um, and I haven't really used it. Apply the uh, Hampshire Sheen now. I'm going to put this uh, on and I'm going to uh, apply it with this lathe running sort of fairly slow um, for this one and I'm just going to get it all in the uh, just make sure I've got covering all the areas
Now with this stuff, you've got to let this dry. So we're going to leave it to dry, uh, and then we're going to buff it off and see what we uh, see what result we get from that. So we just leave that there for a little bit. We'll come back to that in a minute. So I'm just going to buff this off. You can start to see this uh, Hampshire sheen working already. And it's starting to look uh, quite nice actually. Make sure you've got a clean paper towel to do this with. Wow, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. That's a lovely finish. Beautiful. This is the uh, Hampshire Sheen uh, High Gloss. Um, works lovely. I mean, uh, normally what I do now is I probably put on some of the, um, the Sheila Wax, um, but you don't really need to, really, with this uh, stuff. This really does a, a fantastic job uh, itself. Uh, and the good thing about this is it doesn't really leave any marks as well, which is quite nice. Um, I know sometimes when applying the Sheila wax it does leave some marks. Um, maybe that's user error, but um, you know anything to make your life you know a bit easier really. So um, yeah, it's quite nice actually. I like that. Guys, if you uh, want to buy some of this stuff, I'll put a link down uh, below so you can uh, click on the link and Martin will uh, will deliver it to you. No problem. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do now is flip this over. This is ready now and finished. Actually, no, it isn't, actually, no. I tell a lie, we need to put our black lines in here. that's uh, the uh, finish with the lines in it so you can see it gives a quite a nice finish really um, Hampshire Sheen has done a really uh, cracking job as well um, so that looks really nice it's really shined that up really well um, yeah, and just having these lines in here just basically in this with the black you know the black lines it really just sets off the piece I think um, so so that looks quite good I like that uh, just be careful obviously if you're going to try that um, and what I've got obviously here um, is basically the wire tied up into um, basically these are little pencil blanks, um, and I've just basically um, put them in, put them into the lathe, and just cut out the middle so that I can tie the wire around. Um, so make two little handles, so you can use it to to make your black lines with. So uh, yeah, there you go. So we're going to flip this over now and finish off the inside. As you can see, this one has got like a little bit of a curve inside the bowl here, so it sort of goes in. Um, instead of the last one I did was sort of just straight down, so that's a bit different. So I never know how these things are going to come out. For those of you that have watched a few of my videos, you'll already know that. But I have had a few, quite a few new subscribers, so I um, appreciate that, guys. Uh, so, for you guys, if you haven't seen many much of my work yet, that basically I never really know 
how it's going to turn out. <laughs> Never really know what sort of shape it's going to be. Oh, a little bit too much sanding cedar on there. Um, which, I, which I kind of like the idea of, really. You know, and I've had a few comments of people saying, oh, you know, you should uh, prepare everything before you start doing it. But uh, no, I don't. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I quite like, um, you know, having a piece of wood, and sticking it up on the lathe, and then just seeing what I can make out of it. Obviously, you know, I had an idea I was going to make a pencil bowl, but you know, no idea how it was going to be or how it was going to turn out or what the shape was going to look like. It almost looks a bit like a honey pot doesn't it? Maybe this could be called the Honey Pot Pencil Bowl. It's not bad, it's not a bad name to be fair. Honey Pot Pencil Bowl. Hmm, I might stick with that one. go fantastic look at that that's a beautiful uh, beautiful finish so um, yeah pretty pleased with that right so I finished this uh, this bowl and um, oh my god basically I finished this today and I've been kind of reviewing the uh, Hampshire Sheen uh, which has uh, come up with some pretty amazing results um, and I'm really happy with that. Um, then I noticed this other little thing on the uh, shelf so I thought I'd give that a bash and stick it on it and see what kind of finish I've got and oh my god I've never seen such a finish this has come up so perfect it's almost kind of like unbelievable what this little product has done and I was pretty happy with the finish but I thought oh I saw this I thought I'll give this a bash just put it on top and it's just uh, incredible absolutely incredible the finish that it's given this is like glass I don't know if you can sort of really get the feel of actually how that looks but that is absolutely amazing and it's all from Hampshire Sheen Wax Stick. If you haven't got this in your shed, then you need to get it. Trust me. This is amazing. So I think I'm going to be using that stick every single time I finish a product because the finish is just absolutely amazing. I can't believe it actually. I was just putting it on there. I, just, I still can't believe it. I'm just sort of staring at it thinking, oh my god, get the finish on it. Just look though. Just so cool. Anyway, I think this one's going to be called the Honey Pot uh, Pencil Bowl. Kind of looks like a honey pot. Um, you can't really see in there, can you? No, 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 no. I don't think I've got a light anywhere. No. <laughs> it looks all right in there anyway. Um, finished it off in there, inside. But you can get the gist of what it looks like. There's the outside of it. Um, there we go. It's just a bit, a bit, bit of a different piece, really. I know it's got pencils in it again, and I know I've done a few pencil projects, and I do have another pencil project on the go at the moment as well. So uh, I'll be bringing that one up as well soon. Um, it's a very similar to one that you've seen before, but a bit different. But I'm kind of liking the pencil thing at the moment, so um, hope you don't mind. I will chop and change but um, yeah I mean I'm pretty pleased with that actually that's a really nice really nice finish um, I quite like uh, the wood and um, yeah I hope you liked it as well um, again this is this stuff that I used at the end and say so it's just it's just absolutely awesome so give it a bash I put some stills up at the end guys uh, thanks for everyone watching uh, thanks for uh, all my new subscribers and all my old ones uh, I really appreciate uh, 
every uh, every subscriber and um, so I've got a few more uh, ideas it's just when I get around to uh, kind of doing them really um, but um, so uh, yeah hope you like it and uh, please subscribe if you haven't done already thanks a lot I found this knocking about in the shed. Um, I bought this a little while ago um, and it's just been sat around doing nothing. It's quite a chunky piece um, of wood um, and I thought I'd just get it on the on the lathe and just see if I can actually make something of this. I'm not too sure what really. 